Welcome to the Sonia Buchanan Show, where we inspire one life, one smile at a time. Great day, everyone. It is time for the Sonia Buchanan Show, where we inspire one life, one smile at a time. Listen, um, this is our introduction to our uh, show for today. Uh, this is an audio recording. I wanted to discuss a incident that happened to me, and the title is called Boundaries. Uh, so the next section is going to be uh, the discussion. Have a good day. Hey, you guys. I got to tell you something that happened to me, and Chime in and tell me what you think about this because maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just over the top. But I have a person that provides services for me uh, around my house during spring and summertime, right? So, of course, you know, it's springtime, so they haven't provided all winter. But I got a text. I received a text at 12.45 a.m. in the morning. It actually woke me up. And I looked at the text and I'm thinking, I know you're not texting me about this services when you could have texted me during the day. Well, I didn't respond. Um, but I received a text like a week before during normal hours. And I stated that I did not need the services, uh, at the present time. I thought it was clear. Well, the next text I received, it was 1245 in the morning. It was like the next week. And you guys, you know what? I was looking at that. And I said, you woke me up at 12.45 a.m. in the morning about something that I've already answered your question. Well, listen, <laughs> guys, even if you are providing any kind of services, if you're dating someone very new, do not text that woman after 7.30 or 8 uh, o'clock p.m. It's disrespectful. But anyway, after receiving the text, I was really livid. I was so pissed off. I was pissed off. I was like, is this how you see me? That you could just freely just do that? And then I thought, is this what's happening in the dating world? That people just don't have any boundaries and you can just text anybody and do whatever you want to do? Well, I'm not that girl. Nah. But um, so I told my dad. I told my dad. I said, this dude, he texted me at 1245. You know what my dad said? Oh, he disrespectful. Now, he from the old school and said they're disrespectful. So, me, I'm thinking, if, you know, even if I'm not part of the old school or I'm part of the new system, still, why are you calling me? Why are you texting me at that time of the morning talking about something that, talking about your work, with, you know? And I'm thinking, mm -mm. well, anyway. So I got a call. I got a, I received another text last night about 9.47. And I'm thinking, I didn't receive a text all day long. And you decided to want to text me at 9.47 p.m. What were you doing during the day? I, he says, then he says to me, I'm coming over there. He telling me he's coming over there to provide the services. Now, I didn't tell him to come over here. I didn't tell him I needed the services. You telling me what you gonna do for me? Um, <laughs> did, did I miss something? Are we dating? Are we married? Oh, what? Because <laughs> I hired you, and I, that would be just like I'm coming to um, let's see, AT and T. You know my uh, the services of AT and T. They provide services, right? And I go to AT and T. I say, listen, I'm coming in there and I'm going to, I'm going to be, uh, such and such, you know, I'm just going to come and show you how to do things. I'm just going to provide that service for you. You know what they're going to do? They're going to call the police on me and have me arrested and, and take me off their property. <laughs> I'm thinking, did I miss something? Did I miss something here? <laughs> he going to tell me in the text. Of course, I did not respond. I'm coming over there to do that. <laughs> I said to myself, never mind the fact that I may have something to do. Never mind the fact that I may not even be here. And never mind the fact that uh, you must going to do it for free because I'm not paying you for something that I did not hire you to do. Uh, there's so many different scenarios. 
and and I'm sure <laughs> this is not one of those situations where you know I'm talking about this person, but I'm thinking it's the it's the customer service part, it's the aggressive part, it's the boundaries part, it's 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 all of that. It's the nature of your personality. You're just gonna come over here. No, you're not. I'm not even answering the door. <laughs> I'm not gonna answer the door. And I'm not gonna answer the door. And it's so crazy because I actually enjoyed the person, you know, doing the work for me and I will call them to do other things, but you're being very aggressive, which is a warning sign <laughs> to all those ladies who don't know and pick up a warning sign. That's a warning sign. When someone just uh, abruptly just telling you what they're gonna do and they're not in a relationship with you. There are boundaries. It's called client and services. <laughs> you guys, I tell them like, I get, really, don't do that. We are, I don't know, it's just a lot of weird actions that people are demonstrating <laughs> that you guys got to be really mindful of what's going on. You know, and you just, you got to really just keep your antennas up and stay woke because stuff like that, when they have provided disrespect and not valuing your time, not valuing your boundaries, they don't know you, those are warning signs. Those are clearly invited. I'm going to invite this aggressive person who's going to dictate to me and we're not even in a friendship or a relationship. You are being hired. And uh, those are warning signs, you guys. I don't know, you know, I'm not the most uh, intelligent person when it comes to the end time of relationships or dating or uh, services. Uh, I'm only an expert on what I like and what I dislike. And like I stated before, I answered him the first time when he texted me at a normal hour. Don't give people opportunities by answering any questions during an abnormal situation or an abnormal hour because that says, oh, I don't have any boundaries. Oh, you okay with this? No, I'm not. That's why I don't answer. Um, boundaries are so important. You have to keep those. And like I said, I, I, I liked his services, you know, but you don't, I, I can't, I'm sure he's okay, but we always say that. <laughs> nope. But anyway, chime in and tell me what you think. <laughs> and listen, you, listen, women who are single, who are just out there dating, be careful. Make sure your antennas are up. And not just women, men, because right now it's really the foundation of being protected and keeping your boundaries is cross the board. Okay, it's across the board with everyone. It's not just women, it's just men too. Because women sometimes can be aggressive when they want a man. They just like, I'm coming over there and do this. I'm coming over there. No, you, you can't do that. That's, that's rude, that's disrespectful. You don't know what's going on in this person's world. You don't know, you can't just bombard yourself over in somebody else's life, whether you're dating or not, whether you're in a relationship or not. You, you just have to be mindful and be respectful to people's space and their time because you don't know where they are. You don't know what they're doing. They could be focusing on something that's very important and they need their attention to it and you are disturbing them by your aggressive behavior which people snap in the middle of the time and then next thing you know, we see them on the, um, I don't wanna sporadically say that because it's negative, but. Listen, you guys be careful, have your antennas up. Make sure you communicate with people and say, listen, this is not the time. Um, some people just don't answer sometimes when I'm texting them or calling them. That's because they may be focusing on something else. I don't get offended, I just say, okay. They may be, when they get ready and they wanna talk to you or text you back, they will. And if they don't, that means they don't wanna be bothered with you. That means they don't want you in their life. Don't respond to that. Keep going. Somebody, but far as services, businesses, bombarding you, texting you at 12.30, 12.45 a.m. in the morning talking about their services. Don't open that door. 
Do not open the door. And when you see them at a normal hour, address it. Because you always got to communicate and let people know. I do not like that. And don't do it in a rude way. Just do it in a very, you know, loving way and say, listen, I don't know, but I don't appreciate you texting me at this time in the morning. Just like that. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Oh, Lord have mercy. The stuff, the things that I have to deal with, it's crazy. And people think I'm just not easy to get along with. No, you just cross my boundaries all the time. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Have a good day. Catch the Sonya Buchanan Show, where we focus on one life, one smile at a time. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Oh my God, I gotta tell you, I was having a moment and I decided to stare at the net. And that's when I came across this website called Comforting Promises, which is a great website, by the way. And get this, on the website was a featured book called The Journey by Sonia Buchanan that was recently published. So I immediately downloaded the ebook on Kindle because it talked about, you know, having faith for your life purpose. And let me tell you, the book is super great. I was so motivated to get back into the game pursuing my goals. And you got to get the book because it's worth the read. Thank you for joining our podcast today. The podcast was produced and edited by Sonia Buchanan. For more information about the host, you can go to SonyaBuchanan.com. For information about Comfort and Promises broadcast community, you can go to ComfortandPromises.com. Thank you for listening to our broadcast, The Sonia Buchanan Show, where we focus on one life, one smile at a time. Until next time, bye you guys.